Okay guys, I wanted to just show you, I know this is the end product, but I'll, trust me, I'll walk you through it. Got these at um, Ace Hardware. Um, I'll tell you exactly what size it was. It was a quarter C20. And uh, you can go in and not the metric section, but the uh, American, you can get, you can find a quarter 20. You'll see it. That's the bolt size, that's the bolt and it was a one inch. I didn't want to go too long because I don't want to have any bottoming out problems. And we've got our spacer in here. All right guys, we're here with the 6.0 Power Stroke today. And uh, we had some problems with uh, valve cover leaks uh, because some of the bolts are stripped out. So wanted to address that. And um, uh, first of all, if your valve cover gasket is wore out, um, that'll cause problems too. So we had a wore out valve cover gasket in here. I thought I had six holes that were stripped out, but it turns out that it wasn't even the holes problem. It was the thickness of the gasket. So make sure you have new valve cover gaskets. And when you get the new valve cover gasket, go ahead and snug them down. And the ones that don't snug down, let me show you what I did. Uh, here's the finished product of two of them. I only had three on this whole entire engine, so two of them were right next to each other, so that's that was an area of a bad leak. Uh, but we went to Ace Hardware, and we picked up a, a quarter 20 was the bolt size. Uh, a quarter, it's technically a quarter C20, but it was an inch long, and I got a, don't ask me why, but I, I got, <laughs> found a grade eight um, quarter inch washer that worked really well that just goes right on top of the the spacers i got from old bolts so they're your stock 60 valve cover bolt spacer so let me walk you through um how i did that how, how did i clean up the threads and uh i already went over sizes right there quarter 20 pretty simple at ace hardware but uh, let me show you what i did for the holes okay guys i got this old eastwood kit tap and die set and I tapped out the holes with this quarter inch NC20 and it worked perfect um, I literally did not drill out anything like I want to make that clear like I, I did not stick a drill bit in there at all now sometimes you may have to do that to helicoil and stuff like that but if it's bad enough but I knew mine weren't stripped really bad because I could still feel the bolt going in. It just would keep spinning at the end. So I cleaned it up with this and we got a shorter bolt, like I said, a one inch, quarter inch 20. And it worked perfect. I mean, they, these are snug. They're not going nowhere. And we're not gonna be leaking out of there. We might, we might leak out of the, the glow plug holes. I need to make sure that I get those down all the way but we're not going to be leaking out of valve cover that's for sure so that's fixed for a leaky valve cover um are you going to be able to do this with the motor in the truck it really depends it depends on where it's at some of these bottom ones are going to be pretty tough because they're going to be up against the sides and up against the heater core itself and you might have some problems, which is why I had my motor out. I'm resealing it, doing oil pan, doing the rear, I did the rear main. We're gonna do the front cover. We're gonna do the front cover. So it's off. Uh, we already did oil cooler. We already did gaskets for the intake, uh, gaskets for the EG, EGR, um, and gaskets for the High pressure oil pump plate so hopefully we're not going to be leaking at all okay guys i know i'm long-winded here but uh now we're going to go over size of the exhaust manifold bolts i had one that really messed up and this is what i use i know i'm crazy for not using a ratchet too i, I know i should but i was careful and i just spun her in and I was able to use the original exhaust manifold bolt and it worked perfectly. So mine wasn't too 
I mean, it was messed up. Like I couldn't, I couldn't thread an original bolt in, like at all. It wouldn't take at all. So this just cleaned it right up. So this, sorry, I covered up the um, numbers here. So let me get a battery on this. Uh, most of my tools are Milwaukee, but these were a gift when I was younger. And I've been using them ever since, dude. The Nikitas aren't bad. They're definitely not, you know, top, top quality, but. Dude, I wrecked my thumb. It hurts really bad. Okay, this is a uh, 1 8 by, hold on, I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, 1 8 by 1.25. So there she is. That cleaned up the exhaust manifold bolt on a 6.0 power stroke perfectly. So if you want to reuse, if you just want to clean up the threads, and reuse your bolt, there's your winner. All right, hopefully this helps uh, some of you guys out. I know you're trying to reseal these things and get them stop leaking oil.